Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It is time to harvest my garlic here in Psalm 7a. It has been raining a lot here in Psalm 7a, Northern Virginia, in the last few days and it has been great. But that means that the garlic could rot in the ground if I don't pick it out. So let me show you what it looks like right now and when you should harvest your garlic. This is my garlic patch right here and you can see a lot of the leaves are turning yellow. You want to pick your garlic when at least five of the bottom leaves have died. And some of my garlic has already started to turn a little bit black, which is concerning. So let's get it out of the ground today. I have about 20 or so cloves in here and I have some other one over there next to the side yard. So we're going to pick that one today as well. I always like to use one of these spades or forks to get the garlic out of the ground. That way I don't damage it. To harvest the garlic, I just put this fork in the ground away from the, from the head of the garlic and I pry away and then I just get it out of the ground. And check out what it looks like right now. This is a good size head of garlic. This is my hand for a comparison. This patch that I have right here did so much better than any of the other patches of garlic that I planted. And I believe this was from a farmer's market garlic that I bought last year. So I'll definitely save the seeds or the cloves from these because I wanna replicate, because I wanna use the seeds for next year and hopefully I, I can continue to grow more beautiful garlic like this one. Even though it just came out of the ground, it has a very pungent garlicky smell. That's really nice. There were two garlics that I forgot to harvest or I missed the scape. So if you don't remove the scape, this is what happens. This is the garlic heads that you get. You get really small ones. And check out the other ones that I remove the scape from. You see the size of this one versus that size? <laughs> you definitely want to remove the garlic scapes from your hard neck garlic because the harvest will be very significantly different. This garlic was grown in a space that was about three feet by two feet wide. And you can see you can grow a lot of garlic in a very little space. I hate this vine weed. It grows everywhere. I hate, I hate this vine weed. It grows everywhere here in the garden. And even though I put cardboard down at the very beginning when I set up these raised beds, it's still coming through. It's tenacious and I'm almost giving up on it. <laughs> it's so hard to get rid of, but you just got to keep up on taking it out. And hopefully after a few years, you use up all of the energies that the roots have. And hopefully we won't have any more of these vine weeds. So here's the garlic I just harvested from that little space about 25 heads and this is a lot of garlic this probably will supply me for about three to four months worth of garlic of household use I still have a lot from last year and I still have to harvest the one on the side yard but before we move on to that I want to show you I just harvested the garlic and I want to maximize the use in my yard so I have been growing these zucchini plants and they're gonna go directly in the ground right now so that I can utilize this place to the maximum because I am successful planting. By taking the garlic out right now and planting these heat loving plants, I'll be able to get two crops out of this raised bed this year. Not only am I getting, not only am I getting garlic out of here, I'm also gonna get some lettuce. I've been harvesting lettuce. And this, I'm gonna be harvesting some of the seeds as well. I also have some tomatoes growing down here. Check that out. So you can grow a lot of plants in one small bed. The zucchini is going directly into the ground right here. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this lettuce plant to mature, to mature the seeds. And once they're done, I'm gonna rip it out. But I also have this beautiful soil where I can put this nice black zucchini. I think this is black beauty. I think that's what the label on the packet said. I'm gonna put it pretty deep. 
check this out you take your pot measure it try to match the level of the soil you grab it like this press on it comes right out and it goes right in I have a label here it says zucchini perfect and here we have the zucchini plant in the ground this is about two weeks old already so by putting it in the ground here I'm gaining two weeks by putting a transplant rather than a seed hopefully hopefully I'll be enjoying some nice zucchinis in about a month zucchini grows really fast so by putting something that grows really fast into a raised bed like this you guarantee a good harvest throughout the season this year I'm focusing on growing more of the seminal pumpkins there are pumpkins about this size and those are good for storage because you can keep them for up to a year in your pantry but also you can eat them as green squash which is essentially a zucchini and seminal pumpkins are what the Native Americans used to eat here in the States especially down in Florida so it's really good so seven of pumpkin is really good because uh, it is resistant to the vine borers that usually decimate the squash plants here in our zone but these are regular zucchinis in a different video I'll show you the seven of pumpkins which are still growing it is a vining plant like a pumpkin and it will spread all over my backyard and I'll show you those when they're a little bit bigger so here's the raised bed now three zucchini plants instead of the garlic that we just harvested. I should have harvested this garlic a long time ago because now it's going to be hard to find. You see here it's falling down. So now I just got to make sure that I follow the pattern so I can find my garlic. <laughs> I should have harvested this a while ago but it goes from green to this in about two weeks. So I have been pretty busy and I have not harvested this garlic so now I'm kind of late but here we are let's pick it now nothing's always perfect in the garden so now we gotta fish them out here's one that's good Whoa, this is good sized garlic too even though it looked kind of weak at the top it's actually not too bad here we go let's get it out of the ground wow yeah these these clothes are looking quite good actually look at that a really tight space around here <laughs> yeah there we go this is a little easier i also grew some peas around here and those did, did okay Here is the garlic from the side yard. I'm pretty sure this garlic is a soft neck garlic because it did not produce any of the typical garlic scapes. And then it started dying. And that's what threw me off a little bit with this one because I thought it was gonna produce some scapes and I never saw the scapes. So this must be a soft neck garlic. And it did really well. Some of these cloves are really big and the plants look very small. So I'll save a few of the big ones and use those as seed as well. But the main crop that I want to save for next year is from this one. The hardneck garlic that I had growing over there. Because even the biggest one from here is half the size as the other one. So I definitely want to grow more of this particular stock. Which looks great. Now to cure my garlic, I've had a lot of success by doing something that is unconventional. I like to take my garlic as soon as it comes out of the ground and I spray it with the hose and I try to get as much dirt out of it. And then I put it on a crate and I leave it in my garage for a few weeks and then it dries really well. Everything else online says that you shouldn't wash it and that you should just let it dry. But I find that there is no storage issues and hopefully you can try my method and have no issues with your garlic and storing it for a very long time. In fact, I want to show you some of the garlic that I grew last year. Check out these beautiful heads. And they are very hard still. These were harvested in June of last year. 
So this has been a full year of storage and they are quite good. Last year I picked the best ones from the harvest and that's what I planted. So the ones that are over, over there are probably from that same stock from this one right here. And the ones that are really good are from a farmer's market purchase that I made last year. So I'm gonna definitely stick to those next year and hopefully we can get a better crop that is suited for our area. And this right here is garlic that I harvested about maybe a month and a half ago. And it has been drying in the garage. And check it out, it looks quite good. And this one was definitely harvested a little late. This one was planted really early last year and it came out a little bit earlier out of the ground. And you can see that the, the protected little husk disintegrated in the ground before I could even harvest them. So that's why they look like this and you can see the individual cloves. But this is totally fine. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat these very soon here. These are gonna be the first that I eat this summer. Then I'll move on to some of these that I have from last year, and then I'll get to the garlic that I just harvested. And that that one that I just harvested, I probably won't be eating until May or June of next year. Washing your garlic is very simple. Just lay it down on the ground, just like this, and then you're gonna take a hose and use the little sprayer to spray off as much of the soil as possible. I'm using the jet option here and I'm just gonna hose it down and turn it a few times. You see how nice and clean it gets. And you don't wanna get... You just wanna clean the bottom and then just leave a little bit of the dirt on the roots. It doesn't matter, you'll cut the roots later. Big garlic right here. So here you have the garlic. This garlic is gonna be really tasty and it smells delicious already. So what do you think about growing garlic? It is very easy and I hope that you take an attempt this fall to plant your own garlic and grow a whole year supply worth of garlic. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you on the next one.